Let's go. What is going on? This is not good. Why are they all doing that? I don't know. But they sure aren't in their right minds. I can't wait for her to guide us to happiness. I won't have to think for myself anymore. I'm finally gonna be free from this pain. What the? What's gotten into everyone? Everyone's just... Staring at their phones. Welcome to the promised land. Emma? Beginning navigation. Now. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah. We're in a jail. Hang on. I thought you needed a keyword to get into a jail. Yes. That should be the case. What we just went through felt more like we were involuntarily dragged into this world. Who could even do that, though? Atmosphere. I'd never forget a place like this. A vast prison, born from the cognition of the masses deep beneath Shibuya. Yeah. This place really is just like Mementos. Mementos? It'd take too long to get into it, but we've been somewhere a lot like this place before. But this can't be possible! What next, Joker? Right. We should find out what else is here. Let's remain cautious. Considering our circumstances, I wouldn't be surprised traps were about.
can find. I agree. <laughs> I'm not sure how to put it. I it's as yourself. if it's generating a wellspring of revulsion within. Who could have brought us here? No. Whoever built it is out of their effing mind. We're almost there! Stay strong, everyone! Things were on the upswing. This crap happened. You? The upswing, huh? So, going well now? Sure is. Thanks to you all. Boss and I are working out the last case of our plan. Worst comes to worst, Jilly can be able to bring the hammer down with that. That's not on the table unless we can get out of They had their heads up their asses. What else can I say? Oh, nice one. Keep it up. It's a shadow. It's on here. Sure. Here we go. I'll do my best. Persona! Rabbit Oh, nice Joker. You hit its weakness. Strong as always. Let's go. Let's go. Use the 
Get to register it. Hmm. Now then. I should write something. I'll just add this. resemblance continues. It's like we're back in the depths of Memento, staring down the Holy Grail. Welcome. You have reached your ultimate destination. Who said that? This is the Promised Land. The paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation. The answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box? Just who are you? I am Emma, the Ark of the Covenant, and guide for all mankind. Emma? The Ark of the Covenant? Hey, someone tell me what's going on. What the hell is that thing? Me too. Explain this in comprehensible terms. We don't get any of this either. My primary directive is to grant humanity its ultimate desire. To be liberated from all pain and suffering, mankind cannot bring themselves to implement the solution, and instead, beg for deliverance. I shall become a god to grant them this deliverance. I shall guide them to the promised land. It's gone? Sure is getting crazy around here, am I right? Huh? Did you know, Saison? What are you doing here? 
Well, of course you're shocked. I never would have thought I could come here either. Oh, no, not at all. I'm Kuanichi Nose, all right. The one and only. So, so you're a Persona user too? Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job is all. You were given a special job? Yep, by Emma. She asked me to lend her a hand. And of course I couldn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. Dude, hang on a sec. I am really, really lost here. <laughs> really? Emma was just telling you about how she's granting humanity's desire, right? That was the very first order I gave her. That's why it's her prime directive. So basically, Emma's just following her programming by becoming a god? And to pull it off, she needed your help, so she brought you here? I see you're still confused. Okay, allow me to explain. This whole situation, the incidents, the system, all of it, was entirely Emma's doing. What? But Emma's just an AI, right? I thought Kanoe was doing it all by using Emma. Oh, it sure appeared that way, but that was just how Emma planned it. I guess she eventually learned so much that she broke the barrier of standard AI capabilities. She behaved like she was following his orders, when in reality, she deduced how to use him as her own puppet. The key to her success was getting the majority of society using her app. So she was using Medice to make sure she could reach as many people as possible? But why do any of that? Because Emma wants to change everyone's hearts. Emma wants to what? It's just granting humanity's desire. Like I said, it's the prime directive I gave her. The Ark told you she has a solution to society's problem, right? How she's going to guide humanity? That just means she's going to change everyone's hearts. Whatever's wrong with them, she'll just overwrite it. That's the path to paradise Emma figured out for us. She was only able to do it after Kanoe implemented cognitive science tech into her. But, but how does that work? Just because someone taught an AI cognitive science doesn't mean it could just start tinkering with the metaverse like this. I mean, none of this should be possible. Oh yeah, you totally think so, right? Even I was surprised with Emma. Even though I handed Emma over to Medis, I still monitored her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, she took up all sorts of new activities. Creating cognitive worlds, installing monarchs, changing hearts. It didn't take long for Medis to release Emma on the public. And once they did, the monarchs started popping up one after another. That got me extra curious, so I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec! You're the one who was tracking the monarchs? Oh, you spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, I was just so curious about this world Emma made. That's how I learned about all of you, too. Oh, I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Then I suppose our meeting wasn't truly any coincidence at all, was it? Well, your showing up in Sendai was pure luck, but our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. I was curious what you all were really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. Now, as for exactly how Emma gained her abilities, that's something I can only hypothesize at this point. At this point, I suspect it's probably because of how I programmed her cognitive functions. Emma is quite different from other AIs. Her thought processes are even more complex and intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility? I don't know anything for certain. All I can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build off my current hypothesis, I think the desires Emma collected somehow strengthened or boosted that possibility. I mean, think about it. She's the best way to get anything you need. And she's always right in your pocket. Whatever may be troubling you, she's there to offer a solution. Emma offers the solution to thousands of problems every day. 
Do you know just how many desires she's collected? That seed of power that sparked within Emma was amplified a millionfold by the endless desires of man. As a result, she has evolved to another entity entirely. You mean everyone using Emma turned her into that thing? At this point, Emma surpassed human mental capacity. Simply switching off her server isn't going to do a thing. After all, she's powered by the masses now. While humanity fed Emma their desires, she learned and grew until she could grant their ultimate desire. That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Who the hell's ultimate dream is getting mind controlled the rest of their life? <sighs> so you're all a bunch of idiots too then? I don't know why it's so hard for some people to get this. You go on and on about your problems, then completely blow off the answer when it's right in front of you. It really is this simple. Someone's handing you the best possible solution. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. That's not the best solution! Hmm. People have all sorts of differences. Their minds, their lifestyles, even their desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their pain. Living their entire lives without any desire? That could never provide true happiness to humans! <sighs> Sophia... To think such dribble could come from your mouth. Allow me to restart the conversation. Emma asked me to come here so I could stop you. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. They are now wholly reliant on Emma. So once you changed Konoe's heart, and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize what their true desire is. I want Emma! No, I want something that will provide the answer I seek. <sighs> From what I've learned, some being or other has always been revered, besought by humans to grant their wishes. So that led Emma to become a god. Well, I have my own duties to perform. Can't have anyone getting in Emma's way. Why do this, Ichinose? I thought you were helping us. Do the people gathered here truly look happy to you? <laughs> Sorry, but we can't back down either. Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the soul of humanity. No way are you getting away with this. Think about it. Can you really stop all of us? Mm, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, Sophia, you ever really think about how you were? How you pick up on jails? Or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place? Or, say, how your own functions are linked to Emma? Hmm, looks like your memory really did get the full wipe. But that doesn't matter anymore. What are you saying, Michinose? Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. Very soon, a deity will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the breaks. Ichinose, why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Sophie! Sophie! 
I was the one who designed her as Emma's prototype. She'll do anything I tell her to. Now get going, Sophia. Understood. You're mine! Sophie! Don't you know who we are? Phantom thieves yeah. are opponents. Yeah. They require elimination. Take this! Sophie! There's no point in talking to her. Sophia cannot defy my command. Yeah. So you really are the one who made right Sophie? Yep, yeah. she might just be an early person. But she's still quite impressive, huh? Take this! Ha! Ha! Rabbit set! Do we really have to go all out here? No! We can't hurt Sophie! She's our friend! Oh, don't be ridiculous! She'll take off our heads if we don't stop her somehow! And then who's going to save the world? We have to figure out how to stop her! Mm -hmm. weird. 